a lot of party people. So I wanted to talk about this a while ago. I think I you know wrote around with it in my head over and over. Um, in terms of time, right? I don't measure my life in terms of years. Um, I measure time based on life, certain life experiences. Um, do I happen to know some of the years? Generally, um, let's, let's start with, um, I, I don't remember what year it was when, um, uh, we moved to Milford, but, uh, I was 13 then, so however old I was in, when I was 13, it was in whatever year that was. Um, but in terms of the year, the year 2000 about was, um, when I started working locally in, uh, at the, uh, library in the city and, um. I was, I, I just put the books away. I was like an errand boy, if you want to call it that. Um, in 2002, the only reason I know that is because I graduated in the local high school in 2002, right? Now, something happened after 2002 when um, I uh, got settled into um, university in, in Boston and... Um, there was a time where um I I was sorta in the, the um the Army Reserve. Um so that took about that was basically the year two thousand three to like two thousand four, two thousand five. Um now along the way in university, um Welcome back party people. Um Sorry for the interruption. If you notice, it's a little bit darker in the room. I, I think it is, at least. But back to the topic at hand. Um, everything before 2008, January of 2008, um, that was when I graduated with my bachelor's in English from Boston University. Everything that happened in that time period from starting school in the fall semester of 2002 to this end of fall semester, you know, start of spring semester, 2008. So I took a little bit, I took a little bit longer than most people, but you know, I, I still reached the final destination. Um, so like everything I've had before that, right? I'm looking at my resume right now and it was all normal college, I guess you call them jobs. Some of them were work studies. And, um, it was, uh, I mean, it was fun, I guess. Um, I, I still remember some stuff about it. Um, but something interesting happened around, uh, like I mentioned when I published, you know, it could have been crazy, extra sensory, et cetera, on Amazon. And, um, I can't emphasize that enough. It was self-published. Um, uh, so around... May 2008 to July 2009, right? Again, this is still before Vegas, just let's you know. From, from high school graduation, roughly, till before Vegas. That, that little time period is what we're talking about right now. So in the beginning time period, um, obviously stuff happened before that, but I, I didn't consider it significant. Um, so if you go before Vegas, everything leading up to that, was eventually going to get me to to Vegas as a service technician in the uh, the Walmart Tire Loop Express from August 2009 to January 2011. Now, 2011 was interesting. Um, yeah, a lot of how it went down didn't need to go down that way. And unfortunately, it went down a way it shouldn't have. Uh, I'll talk more about this in a different video, but uh, for now, just know that um, the best I can describe it is a missed opportunity. And um, unfortunately, things happened the way they happened. And I don't want to say I wasn't at fault, but I wasn't the majority at fault. I understand some of the blame rests on me, but and there's a big butt there. Um, it's, it's one thing to be supportive. 
it's another thing to look out for your own happiness. And that's not me meant to be in a selfish way. It's just, it's just the way it is. Um, anyway, uh, on, on a different depressing note. Uh, so when I, um, so wait, 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 wait. let me, let me gather my bearings there, right? Uh, uh, so somewhere around, I, I don't know, know some of this, how this, some of this stuff happened. Um, okay. Okay. Um, 2015 was the war, it was the first, um, I was about to say war, so first holiday season, um, where I started working on GameStop just for holiday season and so on. Um, they never really, they were never enthusiastic about keeping me. I, I never really inquired either. Um, it was just something I do at the time um because it's like it's not like I'm going home and open up the presents at the bottom of the Christmas tree uh um okay so around around 2018 I also did seasonal positions at uh, Macy's and it was alright um around 2000 oh excuse me April 2017 to 2018 now we're in the after Vegas, I don't know if you guys follow along with me here. Um, so after Vegas, I started working multiple part-time jobs. I don't know why. I just decided it was a good idea. Um, so that included the now out of business Kmart, McDonald's drive-thru, like like overnight shift, and I was still doing like let's call it stuff at um my current workplace. And I think I was doing like handing out surveys or something. And um, I think I did a little bit of the intake processing. Um, okay, so now we're getting more recent stuff. Um, so there's a gap between 2018 and my next position in 2023. We all know what that gap was. Let's just say in uh, 2020... I'm not sure if that year counts, but uh, it it happened. Um, I was an intern in July 2023 at this place in Stratford, uh, an, another nonprofit. So that brings us to now. Okay, so we did like like university and before Vegas. Those are kind of lumped together, but are they separate things? Yes. Um, is there is there a reason not to link them together? I, I can't think of one. Um, and then we go to after Vegas. Now, when we hit, when we hit, uh, 2020, that's when the, the other nonprofit internship started. And somewhere along this way, I started, um, I started to do the whole um, intake processing more regularly. Um, they hired my coworker cause, um, I guess they thought I couldn't handle it. Um, I mean, like there's only one of me, what can I say? Um, but yeah, there was a whole bunch of other like work study jobs I didn't mention. Like, um, I was a quality assurance tester at one point. I did some construction work, like very light stuff. Um, well, like it wasn't light, but you know, like it was very entry level. Um, there was, um, I was a, an escort security person at, at one point. This is back in, back in the university before Vegas. Uh, but yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff. On. I, I did a lot of office work. Obviously, I did a lot of retail. And um, now, now I'm here where I'm at. And uh, my, my, my so-called team and my people and I were, um, we're trying to see what the next step is and, um, like it would be it would be foolish of me to prematurely quit the current position I have at the workplace, but I, I have to see how enticing the next offer is gonna be. And um if I could do both that'd be great, but um I'm not sure I wanna put my coworker through that again. I, I know like I should be looking out for myself, but um I don't know what to say. Uh, I'm just looking back at my resume right now and see 
all these positions I had. And um, it's, it's nostalgic. I won't say that much about it. And um, so now we have before the pandemic, which includes after Vegas. And then there's after the pandemic, which is basically now, now, nowadays, now times, now years. Um, and what's going to happen after that? I don't know. Maybe there'll be another life event that starts with uh after intake processing i move on to blah 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 now is that ever gonna happen uh i would hope so but you know if it doesn't it doesn't just like something else i made reference to in a different video if it doesn't happen it doesn't happen yeah that's all i'm saying no big deal um all right guys well that that is the chronology of my adult life pretty much pretty or at least close to that um you know, obviously there are those sprinkles of, um, you know, uh, ups and downs, uh, but uh, if I could do it all over again, yes, there are some things I would have done differently. Um, I don't want to say I have regrets about it, but I still wonder what if blah, blah, blah happened or what if I took the road less traveled? I don't know. Is this destination the same? I don't know. Maybe I would be happier. I don't know. All right. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, sorry this video was split into two, but here. Hey, here you go. Here you go. Take care of yourselves and each other.